I have the privilege of um, working at Children's Hospital Philadelphia and uh, in terms of prenatal evaluations and counseling we've seen I believe over 20,000 patients um, since 1996 that come from 50 states and many different countries, uh, 23 different countries. Um, the, um, the important thing to know about, about the prenatal counseling is that the majority of patients are going to be cared for in the traditional way, um, but there are a few subset that can actually benefit from a fetal intervention or a special mode of delivery. Every evaluation um, that, that could potentially have a fetal intervention has non-directive counseling. Um, they are presented a very balanced view. Um, it's very important that the neonatal piece and the potential for preterm delivery and what each gestational age means is, is really covered in depth. It's important that the mom understands what it means for her and her pregnancy, potential bed rest, potential relocation. Um, it's important that they understand what it means for the family unit and what the potential uh, outcomes could be for the baby, good and bad. And so there are definitely um, parents and families who, who, who do not, who decline having a fetal intervention. So for the a fetal intervention, it depends on what we're talking about. If we're talking about open fetal surgery for a life-threatening um, diagnosis like uh, sacral coccygeal teratoma that's hydropic or secan that's hydropic, then it's really performed on an as-needed basis. So those moms might be followed two or three times a week and then when they start to develop early signs before it's too late, then you'd want to intervene. It all depends on where that point is. If they have um, you know, crossed over into the second trimester then they are a candidate. If they've crossed over into the third trimester then we're going to more likely deliver them early. Um, take a diagnosis like um, myelomeningocele, uh, which is an elective procedure. We want to perform that before 25 weeks to be um, along the lines of the New England Journal of Medicine uh, mom's trial. Um, that patient would be followed and then when, it, when, it, when we meet her and every, all the counseling is done and, and she's on board, then it would be performed sometime before 25 weeks.